Hello Biotechnicians, how are you? So for today we are here for a very very important discussion which is pending for a very long time and this was most of our plant biology scientists they were you know having a constant request saying that sir try to do some exclusively videos a special content only for plant biologists so what i thought is how do we amalgamate the databases with that of the plant biology and how do we help you in understanding the literature which is already available on the plants or their phytomolecules or their ethnobotanical importance and that is how we will try to explore this beautiful database which is called as impact let's dwell in so welcome back so we'll start with a very important database which is called as an impact database which will help all scientists not only from plant biology but from all arenas of life sciences who are trying to explore phytomolecules for the betterment of human you know welfare so uh, what is this impact now impact stands for indian medicinal plants phytochemistry and therapeutics so this is what is called as IMPPAT now this is an indian uh, you know designed you know database and this database has two versions initially it had uh, impact 1.0 and now this has been beautifully updated to impact 2.0 now this impact 2.0 is uh, a manually curated database and this has been constructed with the digitalization of more than 100 books from ayurveda from all kinds of traditional medicine and very importantly this is an authenticated source of digitalization on phytomolecules so you can trust this data however this was again upgraded to impact 2.0 and which has an information of more than 17000 uh, 967 phytomolecules 1095 therapeutic uses 1133 traditional indian medicinal formulation and the number is still counting so what i am trying to make you understand is this is a huge database and this will give you the first hand information when you are starting your project work or if you are writing your proposal or if you are writing your phd thesis so this well, we will try to make sure that you will actually have a hands-on experience in the next few minutes. Now, this what you see on the screen is the home page of Impact Database. So, what we are trying to do is we are looking into the home page of uh, the Impact Database. And as I was trying to tell you, the Impact Databases has three different types of association studies. Now, this as a researcher, you need to determine which is the type of association, association study are you actually looking for. Now, number one, it is the Indian medicinal plant to that of the plant part and to that of the phytochemical. So, if you look into this, you can see the first option, which is the Indian medicinal plant conjugated with the plant part and that of the phytochemical. Now, you have a second option to look upon and it is again the Indian medicinal plant and it is the plant part but now this time it is not the phytochemical but however it is a therapeutic use which could be explored. Now, the third option is the Indian medicinal plant and again you have the plant part and beautifully you are talking about the traditional Indian medicinal formulation. So, this is again very important because certain phytomolecules, they lose their activity after some point of purification process. So, if you think that your particular phytomolecule or your cocktail works better in terms of synergy, I think I would always refer for the Indian trans, you know, uh, traditional uh, Indian medicinal formulation rather than one single molecule. So now as you as a researcher will decide what exactly is your forte and what exactly is your requirement. Now once you are into this, you have, as I told you, you have almost 17,967, which is, you know, a very close number to 18,000. So you have so many phytomolecules in this particular database, which can talk about 
the ADMET. ADMET refers to uh, the absorption, digestion, metabolism, excretion and toxicity studies and also it can give you the physical chemical properties, drug likeliness with multiple scores of, uh, of CYP1A1 assays and various kinds of mitochondrial inhibitors. And apart from this, if you want to translate the data from a 2D version to a 3D version of the ligand, even impact database gives you the canonical smiles which are required as an input for other kinds of database. So this is how, you know, impact uh, mainly, uh, you know, supports a lot of researchers, academicians and if you have any suggestions what is not being mentioned in the impact database, you know, the, the curators are always open for your suggestions. So with this, I like you people to go on to the, the impact database and do your data curation. Now, let us try to see what exactly is on to the database. So now, as I have already informed that you have three major options. That is one, you can look into the phytochemical association or you can look into one phytomolecule or you can also look into a class of chemical subfamilies which are which might be present on, in your particular plant. And apart from that, you can also look into the therapeutic uses. And finally, you can go for the medicinal therapeutic formula which could be either one single system or which has been used in systems of medicine. So, you know, these are the multiple options and on the screen, what I want you people to look into is in scientific reports in the year 2018, a beautiful paper on impact database launch has been actually curated and this has been published and in the year 2022, very recently, this has been again upgraded. So, what you have on impact database is a, 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 an advanced and upgraded form of information. So, we can always trust it. Now, coming on to how do I search for my data. Now, if you look into the system, let me try to take one example of phytomolecule and then try to see what exactly is the impact database trying to give me. Now, the moment you click on a particular query window, it will open up an entire arena of, you know, uh, the, the query molecules, whatever you are interested with. So, let me try to go with a, a simple example. So, if I go on scrolling down, you have huge amount of, uh, you know, phytomolecules over there. But let me take up a small molecule, which is called as abyssic acid. And I'm sure that you would have heard about abyssic acid. So, I would take up abyssic acid and then I click on this. Now, the moment I click on it, so it will directly take me to a database which talks about a, a particular phytochemical identifier which has been given by an impact. So, initially, if you have um, used the protein database, there you have an accession number which talks about a chemical identifier. If you are using PubChem, so they will give you an PubChem identifier. So, like that, impact also gives you an identifier and this identifier talks about IMPHY. 011653 which is responding uh, for uh, for the abyssic acid component and you also have the reference for uh, the DOI number for this particular phytomolecule. So now what I do is I just click on abyssic acid now directly you have five major parameters. The first parameter is you can actually look into the structure of abyssic acid. Now apart from that you can look into the physical chemical properties of abyssic acid. Now if you are not aware of the molecular weight of the abyssic acid you will get it over here. Then you get log p values then you have the TPSA that is topological polar surface area calculation. Then you can also look into the heavy molecules, light molecules, carbon molecules all these you know chiral carbons all these information is over here. Okay, and depending on how whether it is aromatic compound and an or an aliphatic compound, the entire information is over here. And this tool is also being conjugated with a tool which is called as RD kit. Now, apart from the physical chemical properties, you can also look into the drug likeliness. Now, as you know, for the drug likeliness, there are various assumptions and there are certain postulates and certain rules which has to be followed. Example, you have Lipinski's rule of five, you have Eigen rule, you have Mugen rule, you have verbal rule. So like this, you have multiple rules and you can also see whether your ligand molecule, whether your phytomolecule is actually aligning to these particular postulates or it is violating any postulates. So uh, this you, you can also, uh, you know, uh, look at uh, with a specialized database, which is from Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics, which is called as Swiss ADME. But however, this data has been still curated with the help of Swiss ADME. So again, it is highly authenticated and relevant. 
Now, this will tell you whether this has passed uh, the, the drug likeliness property or it has actually failed. Now, for an example, you can see abyssic acid, the number one, it is number of Lipinski's rule of five violation and it says it is zero. This means to say, okay, this is a good molecule which is actually aligning to the, the rules of Lipinski's. Otherwise, it would say it has violated one or two or three kinds of violations have been seen. And this means to say your molecule is not that good molecule for a drug likeliness property. So like that, you have a lot of uh, rules. Again, you have the Pfizer rule. Uh, you have GSK rule, all these are, you know, set rules wherein your ligand molecule has to follow and this would be a beautiful in silico platform just to predict whether your molecule aligns to the drug likeliness or not. And now you have an other important tool over here, which is called as ADME T. So this will also tell about the bio availability and the bio uh, availability score. And as I was trying to tell you, these scores are being curated with the help of Swiss ADME. So you can also see their solubility, whether they are hydrophilic molecules or hydrophobic molecules, all these informations are being, uh, you know, retrieved here. And very importantly, whether your phytomolecule is able to get absorbed in GI tract or onto the skin permeability, or you can also look into what exactly is the likeliness of your molecule to cross the blood-brain barrier or to cross the oncofetal barrier. So apart from that, this will also give you information on the mitochondrial biomarker enzymes and how exactly, and we call them as CYP1A1 uh, analysis. So these CYP uh, uh, inhibitor studies can also be been uh, could be elucidated with this particular you know uh, database now ultimately it will also give me certain descriptors because these descriptors will help me in procuring the data in retrieving the data and for any further use i can utilize the same annotations the same canonical smiles for generation of certain other legal uh, you know uh, you know ligand molecules for the purpose of maybe um, molecular docking or for stimulation studies, these kind of uh, you know primary data could be still utilized. So uh, the end, uh, in conclusion, what I really want to tell you is this is a fantastic database. You, you know the only thing what you need is you need you need to just go and play around because they, you do not need any additional help to curate your data. It is just on impact like this. We will try to do multiple content so that for all kinds of researchers, either you are a BSc student or a BTEC student or an MS student or a PhD student or a postdoc student, uh, literature uh, reviewing should come in handy and it is not just the literature and the molecule in which you are working should be in handy and this will actually uh, save time and increase your productivity. So like this. I hope this uh, impact video uh, has really made an impact on your research and hopefully if you have any questions, do not forget to subscribe to uh, uh, Biotechnica channel and the YouTube channel. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, please uh, leave your comments into the, the comment box and we will always respond to it. And we promise you that we will try to bring uh, the best of the best content to you so that we can facilitate your research in a much better way. Thank you very much for joining in. Take care.